Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll try using Excel in a cool way. Or uh, a lot of us wouldn't know what ex exactly Excel is. So Excel is one of your, uh, uh, the practical definition of Excel as I see on the computer, it says that it's a tool which is used for your uh, uh, calculation and computation purposes. So besides that, it helps you in perverting tables and also in creating up charts and also in creating uh, uh, macro programming with the help of your uh, VBA script. So this is the basic definition of Excel and a lot of us would be using Excel in our uh, day to day uh, work. So uh, Excel offers a lot of uh, cool functions. So one such function is your lookup function. So the lookup function helps a user to uh, search for a piece of data. So in a row or a column. So and it responds or it returns a corresponding piece of data into another column. That's what an actual uh, lookup is. But uh, the the lookup has got like two different structures, like uh, two different uh, functions. So the first one I would say is like uh, VLOOKUP. So, so VLOOKUP is nothing but a function that would also you, allow you to like search for a data vertically in a row and returns the data from the left to the right procedure. So that's a simple thing what a VLOOKUP does. And an XLOOKUP does, what it does is like it helps you in uh, searching a range or an array in a specified value and it helps you to look both uh, vertically as well as horizontally and it performs an exact match or at least an appropriate match like a, a closest match whatever it is whereas in uh, the case of vlookup the vlookup forces the users to search the entire uh, data table array searching for the lookup value from the left to the uh, from the leftmost column exclusively in the leftmost column and it returns the value of the uh, by the column number in the uh, subsequent argument like whatever the next column is going to be and uh, xlookup on the contrary what it does is it look up, looks up for uh, the columns and the specified uh, data and uh, it automatically stores up your value. The first match it finds, so this would automatically store that value into the uh, cell where we are trying to uh, copy this data into. So this XLOOKUP has always been considered as one of the toughest topic in Excel. Not many of us know how to use Excel. So in this live examples, we'll see how to use XLOOKUP in uh, a real day-to-day -day scenario and see how cool of a function it is to use in your day-to-day -day work environment. So on this uh, screen, you could see here that I'm having a data set of uh, a lot of uh, managers as well as uh, salesmen with the uh, items that have sold along with the regions that they are like selling it. So first we'll try using up XLOOKUP. So you could see here that in the XLOOKUP, I'm using the first uh, salesperson. I'm going to tr uh, try using here Leah and uh, we'll also see uh, XLOOKUP as well in using multiple column data. So first I'm going to use the XLOOKUP. So it looks up for a uh, lookup value. It's going to find the lookup value and it's going to also like the first we are going to give the exact value that we are going to look at followed by the lookup array from which data set we are going to uh, look up for this value followed by the return array where exactly are we going to return this array and what is the answers or to it like what is if the result is found and what if the result is not found so we are going to give all the scenarios into this conditions or into this uh, uh, function and see how the results are going to be like uh, displayed and it also gives you the search mode what are is going to be the actual search mode of this on the lookup array i'm going to choose my salesperson column so i'm choosing the entire column set there and uh, you could see the return array that's going to be my next uh, argument here so in that i'm going to choose the sales value like what is the sales value of each sales per person here and it automatically gives up my value as uh, from this list you can see here uh, i just formatted for uh, numbering format into currency you could see here that it's given up the sales value of Leah as 21,600. So if your data set is like really huge and if you wanted to um, show up your exact results, we use this uh, function. It's so easy to find out the exact value. Now if you try to uh, replace your salesperson value, say for example, uh, if you wanted to replace that, it will automatically give you the exact value. Now try, let's try to use the X, uh, X lookup in multiple column data set. Say for example, I want to use a salesperson along with the items that have sold or in the region they have sold and I wanted to find out the sales values or whatever they have done. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, another salesperson as Allison and followed by I'm going to use an X lookup function. The lookup value I'm giving here is Allison and uh, the lookup array I'm going to give uh, the salesperson again followed by um, the return array. The return array, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again choose the salesperson here or I'm going to, this example, I'll use the uh, region along with the sales column. I'm going to choose both the columns here. So this is going to be like a multiple data set, the input. 
So you could see here that from Allison and the data is going to be like the central zone or the region and the sales that has happened is like 14,000. So that results gives up the values automatically from this data set. So here the XLOOKUP is using the uh, um, multiple data set where region as well as sales has been used. So here I'm going to use uh, the function for uh, as not found. If that value is not found, it will be returning the value as like not found. So if I give like some other uh, salesperson name, it automatically gives us the value as not found there. Now if you have to copy this data set from a sheet to another sheet, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to uh, again write the XLOOKUP function here and uh, I took the uh, I take the lookup value as again uh, this data set and the return array is going to be my sales. I'm going to return the value of the sales performed in this. So it automatically gives you the salesperson's values from the previous uh, sheet. So you can copy the data from multiple data sheets. So that's possible in your XLOOKUP as well. Then uh, we've got, uh, let me just rename the title here. Okay, sales. Now the next thing what we have is like going to be your nested uh, XLOOKUP. That's one more cool feature which is available in uh, uh, XLOOKUP. So what we do in nested function is, um, say for example, I'm having a, um, the staff name along with the projects that I've completed across uh, different months. So I'm going to use XLOOKUP and the lookup value is going to be the name here. The lookup array is going to be my entire uh, salesperson's array. The return value I'm going to give here as uh, I'm going to find it for uh, the month of uh, April or I'm going to again use an XLOOKUP function here where I'm going to look up for the value as April and uh, the data set, the array is going to be this array, whatever is there here in my set. And the return array is again going to be this month or the uh, value of data that is going to be here. And uh, I just enter it. Now you could see that uh, it has calculated the value of uh, Lisa's uh, sales. And uh, you could see the sales that has been happened in the month of uh, April. That value is like automatically uh, returned here in this function. Now if I try to find for March, it automatically changes the value it shows for uh, the month of March. And if you change the staff ID's name, the staff name, it automatically starts returning the value for rows as well here for the month, whatever has been specified. So this is your uh, XLOOKUP function. It's a very cool function that helps you to uh, solve all of your uh, big or like uh, huge data sets or employee records or sales records, whatever you have. It's a very cool and simple function to use in sorting out uh, um, a single function as a single lookup or if you wanted to go for a nested X lookup as well. So this comes like really handy in uh, your day to day um, work scenario. So if you have used X lookup in your uh, works, do leave a comment in the comment section. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and uh, do smash that like button as well for this video to get transferred or to get shared to all those uh, X lookup uh, interested freaks and I'll catch you up in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching.